I want to talk about Mulan. Um, yeah. because I'll say this about me. the Mulan trailer is we just watched it together. Yeah. We both didn't watch it for the same reasons. And it was because we just weren't that interested. Right. And if I can say one thing about this trailer after having, if I can say one thing about this movie after having watched this trailer, it's that I'm like pumped for this movie. Yep. This, this was movie, a great it got me so trailer. Pumped. It got me so pumped. And, and there was a moment, <laughs> there's a moment when you're watching the trailer where like the, the music is like big and there's these huge, uh, like symphony sounds and you start to kind of like, we were watching it and I jokingly started singing the song from Mulan, the, yeah. the, um, uh, who is that girl I see <laughs> staring straight. And so I started singing that like yeah. as a joke and it kind of made you chuckle. And then at one point the music picks up and it is that, it song. Is that song. And I and started I, singing along to it. Like, I got chills, man. And I was, I, was to to I was singing it to Brayden. I was singing it to Brayden and Brayden goes, oh, oh, and he just has chills on his arms. I did. I couldn't fake it. That might have been the first and last time ever my voice will give you chills. I like raised my arm and I could see the chill bumps. I'm like, I'm not faking this. I can't fake chill bumps. I can't fake this. That was a real emotion, but it it's awesome. The yeah. trailer, the music for the trailer, they scored the, who is that girl? I see right. the song from the old cartoon. They scored it into this huge, like <sighs> adventure symphony, bro. <laughs> it got I'm me. into this movie. It got me. This movie doesn't. I think the thing that I like about this is that, um, we've gotten a lot of live action remakes of Disney so properties. Many. Yeah. And, and they're not stopping. And they're not stopping. But what I like about this is that it, they're not trying to recreate the cartoon. They're which, really not. Which I think could have been a, a big part of the failures of you know Beauty and the Beast or even Aladdin. Um, is that they're trying to be the cartoon? Yeah. You say failures, but none of them none made of them less failed, than a, but a billion dollars. It was like the one thing <laughs> that everybody hated about it, but. It, the one thing that everybody hated about the movies, it seemed, was that it was like they were trying to be the cartoon too much. Right, and there's no point in remaking a movie, live action or otherwise, if you're not going to do anything new. Right, right. We should talk about, I think we a good thing that we should talk about, that we've talked about in the past, mm -hmm. is what cartoon properties from the 90s and early 2000s should be remade as live okay. action. Yeah, I want to I actually want to touch on that just briefly right after we talk about this trailer and who knows I might forget. So if you're listening yeah. and I never touch on it again, don't worry, I didn't cut it out. I just forgot to talk about it. Um so at first I was I wasn't excited because there are aspects that I thought that they should like remake into this live action movie. Like some of the songs are so iconic. You and, wanted and Mushu great. back, but yeah, I like they Mushu. offered, you know, they offered Eddie Murphy the role of Mushu and he really? turned it down. And so well, there's no Mushu. I mean, that makes sense. But also I think that they really lean into this dramatic retelling of it. And I think it's also very cool to see a, like the Asian culture. Like this isn't, this isn't something that we've ever seen before. Like the, the, Mulan movie, the animated movie, it was like cartoon and kind of goofy. But it was Americanized. Right. But this, like, I'm a white man and I felt empowered by it. <laughs> right. Like, it was inspiring. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I can see the direction behind it and, like, I'm very much behind it now. Mm. Um, maybe it was just you singing to me that sold the movie. <laughs> maybe I'll see it in the movie theater in a couple of weeks and I'm like, mm, it was okay. But as of right now, I'm so stoked it looks, on this movie. It actually looks really good. It does. Whenever that guy is, like, launched up and he's running up a vertical wall, that was And the so camera cool. rotates with oh him. Oh, my gosh. This movie, it, it got me excited. It looks like, like a great drama, yeah. a great action movie that... You almost have to take it for what it is. Like it's it's not a remake of the cartoon as much as it is a retelling of the story right. itself. So, which I think is great because we talked about it in the very first episode of Podzilla, where I said the Lion King was good. It was everything you love from the Lion King, just without all of the heart. Right. The the live action remake. Right. Um, and this looks like it has a lot of heart, which yeah. is kind of refreshing. Yeah, uh, absolutely. To me, to see absolutely like directorial wise and acting wise, like you can tell this is an important product, maybe not to Disney, but definitely to the people who made this movie. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see it. No Mushu or not. Like, yeah, I'm no I'm lucky cricket. I'm so excited. I would love to see the scene where the woman has the ink on her hand and she, she does the, 
<laughs> does the mustache. Fa I'm, Mulan. Fa Mulan. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm excited. I would love to see that. Genuinely, I'm excited for this movie. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, it looks fun. It, I mean, not. It doesn't look fun and funny, but it looks like it will be captivating to watch and like yeah. an enjoyable I'm ride. Interested? I I'm will into go it. see this movie. Yeah, yeah. So, um, the animated movie that I was uh, going to bring back up is: Did you ever see Balto? Yes. So Balto, I'm not explaining it to you, but to the, the viewers who may not have seen it, Balto is an animated cartoon. It's not Disney. I think it was straight to VHS release. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's about a wolf who becomes a sled dog to get medicine for like a sick town. And apparently yeah. it's a true story. But yeah. Disney Plus has a movie coming out called Togo with Willem Dafoe. Um, and it's about a like a husky puppy who wasn't going to be a sled dog because his owner never thought he would ever be a good sled dog and blah, blah, blah. And he like gave him to two different owners and he broke yeah. out and ran back home and it's kind of sweet. But then the town like is hit by an epidemic uh, epic. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Let's say this word together. The town guys. is cursed by an epidemic. There we go. An epidemic. Wow. We made it through it together, guys. Um, the town is hit by an epidemic and they need medicine. They need penicillin. They need blah, 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 blah. And then it's this story of like, I think the sled dog driver, the human gets injured and then Togo actually gets the medicine and then takes it back home all without, which is the same thing as Balto. And I used to love Balto. So then it, it was very cool to see this Togo trailer. Yeah. Um, here's a little fun fact for you. Hit me. Little Podzilla fun fact is that the, Original Balto from 1995 told the same story as Togo. It was the same serum run. Okay. But Togo was the lead sled dog on the journey, um, and Balto finished the last quarter of the journey. So he made it oh. there, but Togo well, are, so started So they're the same it. story? So they're the same story, Balto <gasps> and Togo. Oh, yeah. Isn't that kind of cool? See, I'm a part of Podzilla, and I so love So this Podzilla is the untold facts. true story what? of Togo, who was the lead sled dog in the, in the journey of the serum run. You're telling me that Balto, the character that I grew up with and loved, yes. is a phony? And He's he doesn't <laughs> deserve all the credit? He deserves credit, okay. but Togo was the lead sled dog. Balto, <sighs> I don't know if Togo didn't make it. Mm-hmm. In the end, but yeah. Balto finished out the serum run because okay. it was in the middle of like yeah. this huge m winter, right? right like yeah. this crazy winter. So I don't know if maybe Togo doesn't make oh, it. I got to rewatch. But what if Togo is in Balto? Balto might be in Togo. What if Balto was in Togo? I know. That's kind of cool. What, what if what if the doggo Togo is in Balto, but what if Balto Togo, is in Togo, What if bro? Togo has Balto, and then Balto also has Togo, but you didn't know Togo was in Balto until you watched Togo? Bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. It's the same serum run that uh, Balto was a part of. I'm looking at this picture, man. Willem Dafoe, I don't... He's just... Always a villain. He is, and so he's just scary looking. <laughs> they never released. So I'm looking at the Balto voice cast just to make sure that Togo wasn't in the movie. Was and he? No, he wasn't. Okay. Um. Uh. But Kevin Bacon was the voice of Balto. That's cool. awesome. Yeah. Um. Anyways. Um. Totally forgot what you said. Let's throw it back to you to re-ask me that question. What was my question? Well, I guess we're moving on to the next trailer. Let's move on to the next trailer. <laughs> um. No, I was just saying William De Willem Dafoe is oh, scary looking. That's right. That's um, all. If he was sitting in this room right there, right there, mm -hmm. and he just wasn't saying anything, Ooh, I think about stop. how horrifying that would be. I would, would stop be. podcasting. I would hang it up for life. Yeah. Um, I'd hang it but up. But yeah, man. so Disney Plus actually posted a picture on Instagram of Willem Dafoe standing behind this dog, Togo, and it was they released the poster of the movie before they released the movie trailer. Um so I was genuinely interested because yeah, Willem Dafoe is normally a bad guy. The last thing I've seen him in was the lighthouse and the lighthouse mm -hmm. was incredible and mm -hmm. you should definitely go see it and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. But Willem Dafoe is very menacing and crazy in that movie and the, all the other movies. It's been psychological and everything that Willem Dafoe has really ever been in. He's been, if he's not a villain, he's a psychological, like he's messed up in his mind, you know? 
at least everything I've seen him in. But so then they released his poster. I'm like, what in the world? Why is he in a Disney Plus movie? And then I saw the trailer. That's crazy. It's pretty intense. Here's so, a question. Okay. So the 1925 serum run in Alaska mm-hmm. was called The Great Race of Mercy. Yeah. Why isn't that the movie title? Because that's a great that's a, movie title. <laughs> great yeah. Race of Mercy. So, yeah, that's really awesome. Why is it Togo? You know why? Why? Balto. Oh. Because Balto is called Balto. Balto's they got to call just Togo a Togo. Hungry guy now. Do you do you respect Here's Balto a little less now, or do you respect him more for? Finishing? I respect him because it says here Balto, the lead. This I'll I'll give my work cited to Wikipedia. <laughs> Balto, the lead sled dog on the final stretch to Nome, became the most famous canine celebrity of that era after Rin Tin Tin, and his statue is a popular tourist attraction in both New York City's Central Park and downtown Anchorage, Alaska. Wow. But he wasn't the lead sled dog. The lead sled dog was Togo. This is... This has all been an incredible experience for me to learn about this. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not much else we can talk about with this as a movie right. until the movie comes out and yeah. until, honestly, we just re- rewatch Balto on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, absolutely. Is it on Disney+. Plus? It's on Netflix. I don't think it's a Disney movie. Uh, okay. So if it's not a Disney movie, and I don't know if... Yet. That's true. Everything's um, going to be I'm a not, Disney movie eventually. <laughs> you're right. I'm not sure if they'll have Balto in this movie because Togo wasn't in Balto's movie, so maybe it's a clap back. Maybe, like, maybe, maybe it's Togo like, listen, finishes, kid, he starts and finishes. Listen, it. kid, like I started the game. <laughs> I started. Yep. Like, yeah, you you finished the game. You get all the glory, but right. I started it. Yeah. I took off on that run. Yeah, man. I was the lead. How how great would that be? Shouts out to Togo. Let's Shout talk about to to- let's Togo. Togo is my to- boy. Togo is better than friends. <laughs> Togo is better than friends. <laughs> That's canon on this podcast. That is the official, it is official sta- statement. The official statement of Podzilla. Togo, not the movie, the animal himself <laughs> from 1925, from the great run of mercy, Togo is better than the show series Friends. What if on the it says with Choss and Randler <laughs> and all the other guys? <laughs> with Choss. <laughs> We don't even respect you enough to say all of your Joss names. and Randler and <laughs> and Ronica and and Machel and Phoebe. Oh and Phoebe. We like Phoebe. And GB and Foey. <laughs> so what if our shirt is Friends is not a good show and on the back it's just a portrait of Togo. <laughs> or the... M-